I've got a message from the Italian Commission. Hey guys, I'm Matt Wilson, and today I'm going to be talking about point of view shots, also called first person shots or subjective camera shots. This type of shot has been around since the very beginning of film itself, with it being used in early 20th century films such as in Abel Gantz's 1927 Napoleon, as well as in Robert Montgomery's 1947 film Lady in the Lake. This type of shot would continue into the later parts of the century in many films, such as in Sean Cunningham's Friday the 13th and Steven Spielberg's 1998 film Saving Private Ryan. With the entry into the new millennium, this type of shot continued and became even more popular, with Andre Barkiak's Doom in 2005 and in Adam Wingard's 2016 Blair Witch Project. Besides films, TV shows and animated shows have used these kinds of shots as well, as even video games have adopted the same perspective shot, with some of these games being released in the 1970s and 80s, such as Maze War. However, first-person video games became more popular in the 1990s and onwards, which has led to the birth of the genre first-person shooter, with the most prominent of these shooter games being the Halo and Call of Duty franchises. But anyways, back onto films. First person shots are done not only to provide the audience with a different shot angle, but are also done to provide the audience with a different perspective of the subject. First person helps us to see the scene from the character's viewpoint, to watch a scene from their lens, so to speak. <laughs> I, I understood that reference. First person shots can set a particular mood for a film. Let's go back to Friday the 13th, in the beginning with the first person shot of the killer. The scene is unsettling because it shows us the perspective of the killer murdering his victims, giving us an uncomfortable close-up of what it must be like to be a serial killer. An example of a more lighthearted and positive example was in Shrek 2, ah, now here's a good show. in a huge turning point in the movie when Shrek wakes up to find out he's no longer an ogre. From Shrek's point of view, both the character and the audience share in the same experience of Shrek discovering that he turned into a human, with both the subject and the audience not realizing until Shrek sees his hands and his face. Whether it be to set a specific tone or mood in a film, or just to provide different shots, the point of view shot is a unique and very personalistic and imaginative way to film a scene. Now we will get into how videographers film point of view shots. The best way to shoot first-person shots are by using handheld cameras or using GoPros. I'm going to be talking about GoPros specifically because I've used this kind of camera to shoot first-person footage before. Here are some clips of footage my friends and I took during our fall break. It's very easy to work with. All you need to do is hit the record button to record and stop recording footage. You can attach it to camera sticks and headgear. I'd recommend using a head strap so your footage gives you the best point of view shot, so it really looks like the audience is seeing what you're seeing. This is shown through the footage being presented. To get the footage off of your GoPro, all you have to do is take out the micro SD chip and plug it into your computer using a card. Then open up the appropriate file and you can simply drag it to your desktop as shown here. In all, point of view shots again add a personalistic shot to a film and provide great value for those wanting various types of shots in their work. Although it may not be the best idea to make an entire film first person like a video game does, having that variety and extra perspective can take a film a long way and possibly make it more wholesome and enjoyable to watch. Just for a recap, the most practical and affordable way to film point of view is through the use of smaller cameras, such as the GoPro, that are designed to take these kinds of shots. Then, like with any other footage from a camera, you can download from a file and upload it. This concludes my tutorial video on the point of view shot. 
Thank you for watching and hope you all enjoyed. See you next time.